Hello and welcome to Strange Solution. My name is Darren and I am playing Arkham Horror the Living Card Game in Lackey. I did want to give a uh, quick apology. I um, have just... I have honestly been trying to put some content out for a very long time and um, although I don't mind not succeeding, I just want to show a, a good solid deck uh, that that can succeed um, and I have been struggling getting honestly past curtain call in this game in this particular campaign I've tried multiple investigators I've tried multiple deck builds I've built stuff myself I've looked on Arkham DB I finally have said you know what I'm gonna just put something out there because I want you guys to have some content and I hope you enjoy it uh, so uh, here we go let's go ahead and get started um, I'm going to continue my tradition of probably reading a little bit less. If you want me to read a little bit more, go ahead and just let me know. But um, I figured at this point you guys have probably played this. Maybe not as much as you did Dunwich, but um, I figured if you're watching this, you've probably already played it or just wanting some play tips. I'm going to hopefully not make any mistakes, but if you do happen to catch me uh, making any, let me know. All right, uh, so let's mulligan. Um, I do want to keep that. And I think I'll keep that Eureka. So let's go ahead and discard the rest of this. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay, all right, let's uh, get started. One of the things I've struggled with is potentially where to start in this particular game. So um, I'm going to start by going to the balcony. And I've tried multiple versions of doing this as well. So balcony is a two-shroud location with one clue. Um, if you move from the balcony to the theater, you take two damage. And um, second action, I'm going to investigate at a 5 to 2 chaos bag. It's a minus 2, that's a 3 to 2, that's a success. So 1, 2, and a 3 to come to the lobby. We'll come to the set aside lobby doorway locations. And Lackey, what I typically do is I put these in the second encounter area, give it a shuffle, and just draw off the top two second encounter cards. That's the way I like randomizing it in Lackey. Um, if you have another way, go ahead and use it. I mean, I'm just, that's the way I like to do it. <laughs> All right, so I've moved, I investigated, I moved. All right, enemy phase, upkeep phase, draw a card, and gain a resource. Mythos phase will add a doom and draw an encounter card. Alright. I'm going to think about that for just a minute. Alright, so. investigator phase okay so the first action I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put out the archaic glyphs that's action one I'm going to use Daisy's uh, tome ability and I'm going to go ahead and discard perception to put a resource on it or a secret on it as a resource or a resource on it as a secret I should say um, Third. Okay. I'm going to investigate here at a five to four. I'm going to go ahead and toss a Eureka to that. So it makes it six to four. Uh, chaos bag. That's the elder sign, so that's a success. It's a plus zero, but it's a success because I was up by two. Um, I have one tome out, so I draw a card. Gain that clue. And I am going. 
going to go ahead and use my third action to move to this lobby doorway. Uh, okay. New phase, upkeep phase, draw a card, gain a resource. You know what I did not do, did I? I did not do the Eureka. So, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and reveal the top two. We're gonna put Milan in that two. I would have, I would have pulled him out, give it a shuffle, and then draw a card. Okay. All right. Mythos phase, we'll add a Doom. We're at four. And draw an encounter card. That's a Frozen in Fear. I'm going to play a Ward of Protection. Uh, that does cost two extra resources. I'll take a Horror. And cancel that. All right, investigator phase. Okay. So this is going to be a five to four. I'm going to just go for it. Chaos bag. That's the minus four. Let's do it again. It's the minus two. Come on, chaos bag. That's a minus one. There we go. Took me three actions, but I got there. <laughs> let's add a clue there. And let's see. Hmm. Since clues are going to be a little less important currently, I am going to go ahead. And... Let's see. I used all three of my actions that round to to get that going. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use Daisy's free tome action. I'm going to discard Million Christopher to add a resource to this. And that will be the end of my turn. Enemy phase. Upkeep phase. I will draw a card and gain a resource. Mythos phase. We'll add a doom. That will put us at five, not six. And draw an encounter card. Um, the It's going to pop this turn anyway. So I'm going to just go ahead and let this come out. Alrighty. Investigator phase. Okay. My first action is I'm going to go ahead and move to the lobby. Um, hold up. Before I do that. No, I'm still going to move to the lobby anyway. I'm going to do that anyway. I have two actions left. I'm going to go ahead and spin the clues. I know that's not an action, but I, I did want to wait till right now um, to flip this over. That puts all my set aside locations back or into the. Am I doing that right? Okay. Um. And that gives us a backstage doorway. I'll go ahead and put this back in a side. We'll put the man in the pallid mask there. And we will go to act. Um, now, one thing, I'm not sure what's going on with, with Lackey. I've discussed this in detail with... Uh, 
it's Ransom Man is his name on uh, uh, the Reddit, and he also runs the Miskatonic Test Lab um, within detail and why I only have one of Act 2A, The Stranger. Um, we couldn't figure it out, so I'm going to just go with this one. Um, I could go and just to my actual physical cards and randomize and find one and yada 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 but um i just i just like eh. <laughs> at the end of the day they're really about the same except for one of them it would be really make it this game almost impossible for daisy okay anyway let's go ahead and continue on all right so i've moved Um, no, I want to continue to hold on to that for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move two more times. I'll put this set aside. Doorway locations, the other to backstage doorways and play although I seldom at this point once this uh, pops for Daisy this game becomes very difficult um, so I seldom um, explore um, any more of those all right so that was two more actions oh that's my discard I was like wait I'll just discard that Eureka but it is already discarded, and um, that's going to be all. Enemy phase, upkeep phase, I will draw a card and gain a resource. Mythos phase, we'll add a doom, that will, and then I'll check the doom threshold, so it's before 5, 6, 7, 8, that's way past 6, so these all Doom would be removed, so Doom gets removed off these, and these get discarded. Oh, that's actually supposed to go on the location, not the card. Eh. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to go here. We're going to get the Royal Emissary. Put him in the theater. Take this. Put this here. And we go back to here and we draw an encounter card. Uh, that just surges. Cannot trigger free abilities. Hmm. I don't think I've got a ton of those free ability things. Now, I know what it does to your hand size here, but I'm leaving here right now, so I should be okay. I'm going to go with it and see what happens. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not discarding that. All right, well now we come to the investigator phase. So I'm going to yes, I'm going to go ahead and use the shortcut to go to um, this backstage doorway. That's why I did that. So I still have all three of my actions left. Um, grab some rats. Okay. So I've still got three actions left. I'm going to, as a fast action, I'm going to go ahead and play a mom. 
I'm just gonna leave it here by my card till the end of the, the turn just because I often forget this um, and now I'm gonna punchy punch the rats as my first action as a five to one chaos bag that's a minus one so that gets discarded I'm going to and I'm going to use the investigate action on the man in the pallid mask uh, so that'd be a five I'm I am a five I'm going to discard a Eureka and a ward of protection that puts me seven to five chaos bag that's a minus two uh, so that was a good thing that I put both those in there um, so I've got one action left plus my tome action if I want it but let's go ahead and do this we're gonna flip this um, before I do that before I finish off doing this I am gonna go to my deck oh wait I'm doing that wrong I'm not going to reshuffle for that little mistake. I saw Dr. Christopher and that thing, but all right, I'm going to put, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the magnifying glass in hand. Give this a shuffle. I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. It really didn't matter what I was going to put in my hand there because either thing, I'm probably going to go ahead and discard for this. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on finishing this up. So he goes here. A horror goes here and we go here and pull this out all right um hmm. now I could I have one action left I could astral travel over here now, but that means I'm going to be doing stuff here with the Royal Emissary right on top of me. So I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, that's got a victory point on it. And right now I'm currently just at one, two. And I'm very, very unlikely to not destroy him. So that'll put me at one, two. You know, I've done this entire, up to this point, not had the old book of lore out. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now, I was going to put it out, but then I rethought. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and use my last action to investigate. So this would be a five to three chaos bag. That's a minus one, so that's a success. One, two, three. Yeah, that ended up working out real nicely, actually. And then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Daisy's fourth action. I'm going to discard the magnifying glass uh, to the archaic glyphs. That will be my three re third resource on it, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and discard that and gain five resources. All right, enemy phase. The Royal Emissary will come over to the backstage location, and I will gain a horror. Upkeep phase. I will draw a card, gain a resource. Uh, this finally gets discarded. And then at the end of the round, we'll go ahead and spread the flames. And you know what I forgot? But I'm not going to redraw for this one little thing. I forgot to put these in there. Okay. Uh, those should have been in there for that test. Uh, 
but at this point I'm not going to go back and redo that test. Um, I've kind of gone a little bit past that, but that's the only, that's the biggest play mistake I have during this. That's not too bad. Mythos phase will add a doom and draw an encounter card. Uh, there's some more rats. Hmm. Could have gone without those rats, you know? Um... I'm going to take an... I'm going to take an action to try and punch the rats. So this will be a 2 to 1. Chaos Bag, be nice to me. Okay, that's still a minus 1. Because I only have 2 horror, so that's not too bad. And my second action, I'm going to go ahead and play um, an Astral Travel. Should I have put out the old book of lore and used it first? Short rewind. I'm still going to use Astral Travel. I think in this particular case, it's a good idea to have an item out. Because if eh, it's just one damage, we're going to hold off. Yeah, we're going to hold off. Uh, so I've shuffled that Chaos Bag. All right, so I take a damage because I don't have one of those things that I can discard. And we're going to move here. Um, discard. I've entered a location with the flames on it, so um, I still have one action left. I have to do this test, this agility test of three. Um, her agility is two, so this will be a two, two to three. That's a minus three, so that's a fail. And I take a damage. And we will try, so that's a six, I'm at a five. That would put me at a six if I discarded him. Yeah, boy, this is a little scary. I'm going to go ahead and put out the old book of lore. I'm going to use my last or my free action or her extra action, it should be, I should say, to look at the top three cards on my deck. I'm going to pull out a Defiance. Alright. Enemy phase. Or at the end of my turn, I have to make this test. That's a fail. <laughs> this is what usually gets me in this, to be quite honest. Um, Alright. Enemy phase. Uh, the Royal Emissary will come to here. I'll take a Horror. Upkeep phase, I'll draw a card and gain a resource. Mythos phase, we will add a doom and draw an encounter card. Poltergeist, I didn't need to see you right now. All right, investigator phase. Um, All right, we're going to take the attack of opportunity. I'm going to be brave here. So I'm going to use the investigate action on the man in the pallid mask. So this would be a six. I'm a five currently. You know what? Before I do that, I am going to use Daisy's tome action. Uh, hmm, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'm going to use Daisy's tome action. Take two horror. Deck reveal to all the top three. Um, I'm going to take a Fearless. not going to be using it, but I was hoping maybe to get one more book in hand. But, you know, you know what you do. I'm going to take another Attack of Opportunity. So that was Daisy's additional action. I'm taking an Attack of Opportunity to do, to do this investigation. So this is four, five, six. 
to five, six, seven, eight, and I will say the cultist. My first action of the round. That's a zero, so that's a success. He would get discarded. This gets discarded. And then I'll use the resign action, which does not cause an attack of opportunity to resign. Hey, go me. I have uh, not been doing very well in this, to be quite honest. This is... Uh, this is my th third playthrough with this iteration of of Daisy's of of Daisy's deck. I think this is third, maybe fourth, with this iteration. Um, when I tried last time, I tried to record because I did one, I did two test playthroughs with this particular deck, and then I was like, okay, I succeeded once and failed miserably once. And then I was like, okay, let's let's try and see um, what happens when I record. So I recorded and succeeded. Went back and watched the watched it, and I made a pretty big play mistake. Uh, I'm not one; for, everything has to be perfect. As you see, I made a play mistake here, but it was it was a rather large play mistake. So I was like, well, I do want to re re-record and I was gonna and I was gonna put this out succeed or fail this my fourth fourth attempt with this deck but I can't tell you how many attempts I've had before this so I think it went well so now I think I'm ready to move on to the king in yellow and um, and see how that goes um, yeah uh, if you happen to notice that I made any play mistakes, I, I do typically try and watch them, make sure I didn't make any. But if you do happen to notice that I made a, a glaring play mistake, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my videos, don't hesitate. Subscribe, like, uh, leave me a comment below. If you want to contact me, I'm around most of the places as Jacques Steampunk. I'm in the Discord server as just Jacques. But um, as always, Thanks for watching and have a great day.